hey guys welcome back to my channel ag motion designs and in today's video we are going to learn how to create this complex logo reveal animation inside of after effects without using plugins i have divided this tutorial series into three parts with each part contains some basic simple but cool techniques to create complex animations in the software it doesn't matter if you are a beginner or intermediate this series is simply made for everyone all the video links and the playlist links are available in the description so without wasting any more time let's get started So here we are in After Effects. Now let's create a new composition. I'll call it as Main Animation. Width is 1920, height is 1080, frame rate is 30, and duration is 1.30 seconds. And for the background color, I'll choose Solid Black and hit OK. Now press Ctrl Y on keyboard. I'll name it as Background. and for the background color i'll choose solid black can hit ok lock this layer but not lock first we need to apply one effect on this background layer type 4 as we can see we have this four color gradient effect over here just simply drag this on this background layer and for this colors what well, i'll choose some blue darker versions of these colors you are free to choose any color you want right now i'll choose color randomly something like this and i'll lock this color not color but layer now after that what i'll do is i'll select this ellipse tool by holding shift I'll create one circle over here. Now go to this choose grid and guide option. Click on it and choose title safe action. Select this circle. As we can see, the anchor point is not at the center. I'll delete this effect and press it. So yeah, as we can see, the anchor point is not at the center. So for that, what we will do is we'll hit Control Alt Home. First, we need to select this by holding this selection tool press ctrl alt home align this anchor point at the center now we need to align this circle at the center of this com whole composition so simply go to this align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically and stroke width i'll choose 3 for now now after that what i'll do is i'll hit ctrl d to duplicate it add this one I'll increase the stroke up to 30. Now press S and let's make it 90 or let's say 92 something. Now go to the add menu over here. Choose trim path. Go to the trim path and let's make this end value up to 40 and hit enter. Now after that what we'll do is we'll duplicate this layer by here simply hitting Ctrl D press R for rotation property and over here we will rotate this up to 180 degree so we are getting this kind of design now after that what I'll do is I'll select this paint tool I'll zoom in a little bit and by holding shift first click one point over here then hold shift and create another point over here now zoom out as you can see we are getting something like this but we don't want that that much height so by holding our pen tool i'll select this corner and by holding shift i'll drag it down now after that what i'll do is select this shape and hit ctrl d now go to the shape tool path 1 select this path by holding shift drag it over here and I'll decrease the stroke width up to 5 
so if you see we are getting this kind of stuff now go to the add option add repeater this repeater should be here not in between these two so it will repeat only the shape tool here so make sure that repeater should be at the bottom of this two then go to the repeater property i'll make it 20 not 20 but let's say 10 as we can see the repeater repeated our these two shapes 10 times but we don't want them to be like this we want them to equally distributed in this circle over this circle so for that what we need to do is first of all we need to make sure that our anchor point is at the center if it's not at the center all you need to do is select this pan behind tool shortcut key is y if it is misplaced somewhere else so you need to adjust it over here yep now after that what we need to do is go to the transform repeater one the position is 100 that's why they are uh, looking like this so if we make it less as we can see these are changing so let's make it zero for now as we have discussed that we need to equally distribute in this circle so for that what we will do is go to the rotation property i'll what i'll do is in 360 divided by 10 and hit ok as we can see these are equally divided in this circle so after that what i'll do is i'll create another stroke over here create one point over here and one point over here and choose this option so we can see only this and for now i'll choose stroke width up to one percent only one percent not one percent but one pixels and fit now we need to apply repeater over here also but make sure that anchor point is at the center now go to the add menu and our repeater go to the repeater property let's make this copies up to 100 go to the transform repeater one position should be zero and over here it should be 360 divided by 100 as you can see now they are also equally divided in this circle if i unchink this option we will get something like this now after that we need to create another ellipse over here by holding shift i'll add one ellipse over here press ctrl alt hope to align that anchor point to the center now go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically now press s for scaling option a little bit let's something over here go hit ctrl d press s for scaling option and move this over here now after that again hit ctrl d press s for scaling option i'll drag it over here hit ctrl d press s for scaling option and drag it over here now we will focus on this four circles so we don't need to see these things so i'll hide them for now now after that i'll select this middle one and i'll increase the stroke width up to 15 let's say then i'll choose this last one go to the content ellipse one stroke one as we can see here we have one option called dashes and just simply click on this plus sign so we are getting this kind of dashes now after that we'll hide this one also we don't need it for now select this middle one and go to the add property again and choose trim path option go to the trim path option and let's make it zero for initially 
and create one keyframe go to the four seconds and let's make it 100 as we can see we are getting this kind of loading animation you can say select this keyframes and hit f9 now create one keyframe on the offset over here and press k to move our cursor at the forward direction uh, or at the forward keyframe and j for backward keyframes so these are the shortcuts let's make it one so it will rotate it so we are getting this kind of loading animation now after that what i will do is i will go to this ellipse one stroke one and line cap instead of butt cap i will choose round cap hit u so as we can see we are getting this proper loading animation now i will enable my all these layers so we are getting something like this now after that we need to animate all of them so what i'll do is i'll select my last layer i'll go to the add menu and i'll choose trim path go to the trim path let's make it zero initially create one keyframe go to the 1.5 seconds and let's make it 100 select this keyframes and hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph editor by holding shift we will adjust these handles now the simple thing you need to do is select this trim path one hit ctrl c on keyboard select all these layers and press ctrl shift v not ctrl shift v but simply ctrl v so as we can see we are getting this kind of stuff now after that what i'll do is i'll select this one press r for rotation property we will see what, which layer is this we will see now create one keyframe over here and then 15 second let's say make this one select this one and this one select this layers press r for rotation property create one keyframe over here and at 50 seconds as we can see it's a plus value so we will make it minus value in this let's make it minus two do not select both of them at one time select first this one let's make it minus two select this one and let's make it minus two so they will rotate like this now select this one let's see what is in this layer and this layer select both of them now this one has a minus value so this two should be have plus values create one keyframe over here and at this point let's make it three but plus three so they will rotate in opposite direction or instead of three let's make it one only so they will not move that much faster now select these two or let's say all of them select these four layers press r for rotation create one keyframe go to the 15 seconds create another keyframe let's say minus two so we are getting this kind of animation now uncheck this option as we can see we are getting this kind of designs and design reveal now after that what we need to do is we will see in this next video so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you like this tutorial then please consider to subscribe my channel and also hit the bell icon for more updates until then stay tuned